大家好 ，Hello everyone， 欢迎收看今天的成长汉语。This is Growing Up with Chinese. Thanks for joining us today. Now, last show, Xiao Ming and Lan Lan were reviewing for their upcoming exams, and today nothing too much has changed. Their exams are just around the corner, and Xiao Ming is still desperately trying to prove to Lan Lan that he's not as bad a student as she thinks he is. So let's check in with the two of them and see how their reviewing is going. Lan Lan, I finally understood. You're a genius. Listen to me, Xiao Ming. Next time, you need to think for yourself. 不要总听什么流行歌曲啊，看什么篮球比赛呀、啊！成成成，我遵命，伟大的学习委员。兰兰，你怎么什么题都会做呀？有没有什么秘密武器啊？我有什么秘密武器啊？你看看，这是我的课堂笔记。咱们以前做过类似的题，我只不过是举一反三而已。我怎么没有做过这种题、啊？奇怪，你呀、啊，是不是又抄了同学的作业呀？我保证没有抄过作业。完了，我怎么能抄作业呢？你仅仅是参考了一下。哎呀，兰兰，你冤枉我了。那好。这这道题呀、啊，兰兰，你可别小看我，我非把这道题做出来不可。好啊，现在开始。好了，兰兰，你看看。答案是不是四百五十千克？恭喜你答对了，小<笑>明。看不出你还真有两下子呢。怎么样？我没骗你吧？我的学习成绩也就也差那么一点儿。又来了，吹牛大王。Well, for once, Xiao Ming managed to surprise Lan Lan. That was definitely a first. All right, everyone, it's time to take a look at some of our main sentences in today's dialogue. Cheng Cheng Cheng, I 遵命，伟大的学习委员。All right. Okay. I will obey your command. Oh, great study committee member. Hmm. Okay. Xiao Ming is trying to be a good underling here. Cheng is like saying 好 or okay. 遵命 means comply with your wishes or obey your command. 伟大 means great or mighty. And 委员 specifically refers to someone on a committee. 学习委员 a member of the studying committee. 你简直就是神童啊！听着真肉麻，小明，以后你一定要自己动脑筋思考，不要总听什么流行歌曲啊，看什么篮球比赛呀、啊！成成成，我遵命，伟大的学习委员。兰兰，你怎么什么题都会做呀？有没有什么秘密武器啊？这是我的课堂笔记，咱们以前做过类似的题。我只不过是举一反三而已。These are my notes from class. We've done similar problems before. I was just taking my cues from the ones we've done before. 课堂 means classroom, so 课堂笔记 are notes that were taken in class or notes from class. 类似 means similar, 类似的题 similar problems. Now, 举一反三 is a set saying that means draw inferences about other cases from one instance. So, in other words, Lan Lan knew how to do this specific problem because she done similar ones in class. 我保证没有抄过作业 I promise I have never copied someone's homework. 保证 means promise, and 抄 is the verb copy. 抄作业 copy homework. Lan Lan. 
，你怎么什么题都会做呀？有没有什么秘密武器啊？我有什么秘密武器啊？你看看，这是我的课堂笔记。咱们以前做过类似的题，我只不过是举一反三而已。我怎么没有做过这种题、啊？奇怪。你呀、啊。是不是又抄了同学的作业呀？我保证没有抄过作业。完了，我怎么能抄作业呢？你仅仅是参考了一下。哎呀，兰兰，你冤枉我了。我没骗你吧？我的学习成绩也就比你差那么一点儿。I wasn't kidding, was I? My grades are only a little bit worse than yours. Pian means to cheat, trick, or fool. 又来了，你这个吹牛大王。Here we go again, you king of bragging. 又来了 is the Chinese here we go again equivalent, and 吹牛 means brag. So 吹牛大王 is the king of bragging. 好了，来了，你看看，答案是不是四百五十千克？你答对了，小明，看不出你还真有两下子呢。怎么样，我没骗你吧？我的学习成绩也就也差那么一点儿。又来了，吹牛大王。All right, everyone, it's time to look at today's vocabulary, and we also have our pinyin highlight. First off, though, let's take a look at our specific vocabulary words. 思考 think deeply, ponder, consider. 思考举一反三 mention one side and think out the other three sides. Draw inferences about other cases from one instance. 举一反三奇怪 strange, weird, 奇怪冤枉 wrong, treat unjustly or unfairly. 冤枉骗 trick, cheat, fool. 骗成绩 result, achievement, success. 成绩明白 understand, 明白 Okay, now for our opinion highlight, let's take a look at. 思考 to think deeply. So we've got 思 pretty straightforward, not too hard. S I. It's first tone, so our marker goes above the I, our tone marker. 思 and 考考考 K A O. Third tone. Now. Kao is the ow in kao is quite similar to the ow sound in English. It's just a slightly softer pronunciation. Kao. Now kao's third tone, like I just said, and because we have an a, our marker goes above the a instead of the o, which is the final vowel. So there we are. Si kao. Have any of you ever thought about how often your entire school gets together to do something? Now, perhaps for some of you, you might have a daily assembly, or maybe once a week the principal gives a talk, or perhaps if you go to a boarding school, you might have a dorm meeting every night. It really depends, doesn't it? Where I come from in the United States, there isn't usually a set formula for how often the entire student body of a school gets together to do something. Well, in China, it's completely opposite. Every morning or afternoon at a Chinese school, and I'm talking elementary school, middle school, and high school, the entire school comes together and does exercises. Indeed, when I was in Chinese elementary school, every class's students would line up at a specific time in the morning, and we would all march down to the school courtyard, all 1,000 of us really, and music would be broadcast over a huge loudspeaker, and we would all do a set routine of exercises. Now, one very lucky and very cool kid would be in front of everyone else, standing on a box or a platform of some sort, leading everyone just in case you got lost or you forgot what came next. Now, it was always a very important part of every day. 
How well could we do the exercises? How straight was our line? Or how quickly could we collapse our line in an orderly fashion? We learned teamwork, some light aerobics, and how to move in unison as a group simply from doing our exercises every morning. I had a lot of fun doing them as a kid. And there are even variations of the exercise routines that quite a few Chinese companies have their employees do. But when all is said and done, I'd say it's always nice to get some exercise. It's language point time, everybody. 好，下面我们一起来看一下今天的语言点。首先呢，我们要说一下紧紧。Let's first take a look at jin jin. Jin jin is an adverb that means only, nearly, barely, or just, and it is similar to zhi, but jin jin is more emphatic. Now, Lan Lan was teasing Xiaoming today regarding copying homework, and she said, "Ni jin jin shi tsan kao le yi xia." You were simply consulting it. Now, you could also say, "Zhe me hou de shu, ta jin jin yong le ban tian jiu kan wan le." He only took half a day to read through a book this thick. Mike 投的太准了。哼，这仅仅是运气。我今天背了五十个单词，不错吧？嗯，不过你不能仅仅会背，还要会用。We've got a pattern up next. Fei something bu ke. Now it's essentially a double negative makes a positive pattern, and it means must. Xiaoming said today, Lan Lan, 你可别小看我，我非把这道题做出来不可。Lan Lan, don't you underestimate me. I'm going to solve this problem no matter what. Now you could say, 这件事儿我非告诉他不可。I must tell him about this matter. And just so you all know, 不可 can be replaced with. 不行 So you could say, 这件事儿我非告诉他不行 Let's check out some more examples. 小明，这么晚了，你非去不可吗？是啊，妈妈，这对我很重要。你为什么早考试的时候非要穿一件红色的衣服不可？我觉得这样可以给我带来好运气。看不出。Can bu chu has two meanings. The first is similar to can't tell. For example, 这个东西是什么我可看不出 I certainly can't tell what this thing is. Now, the second meaning of can bu chu is more like never have guessed. Can bu chu, 你唱歌唱得这么好 I would have never guessed you had such a wonderful voice. And it's this meaning of can bu chu that we saw in today's dialogue. Xiao Ming. 看不出你还真有两下子，小明 ，I wouldn't have guessed you were capable of that. Hmm 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 I gave you all last show, so shall we look at the answer? Okay, these were our characters. Remember, we've got 堵车今天好在 and 不 So let's see the proper order. 好在今天不堵车 All right, 好在今天不堵车 Did you get it right? All right, everyone. That brings us to the end of today's show. 希望大家看得开心 Now, don't forget to visit our website if you have any questions or if you need to review anything we covered. And I shall see you all next time. 好了，大家加油，再见。